Hey everyone, Shabium here and welcome back to some more FIFA 18 Coventry City career mode. Now, since the last time I saw you, I played three matches. We had this match a 3-0 victory over Barnet, which involved goals from Asado, Latilaf and Duarte. All our front three getting a goal. Then we played Accrington Standing, got a 4-0 victory. Goals from Ockles, Duarte, Asaro and an own goal. So really on a hot vein of form until we hit Forest Green Rovers and we lost 1-0. So we are still top of the table. If we whiz across to the old table now. Pew, there we go. We're top of the table by a single point. Uh, doing pretty well. A sorrow top of the goal scorers in the league. Also got Duarte there in seventh as well. And uh, we're looking pretty good. But of course, first things first, we do a bit of news. And it's time for our scout report. Let's see what you've got to tell us, mate. What have you got? Ooh. 63 to 81, reject. 65 to 83, reject. 61 to 79, reject. 59 to 79, reject. 67 to 91, interesting, we'll keep you. 52 to 70, reject. And 58 to 80, reject. So this guy has the potential to be very good. I think we're going to leave him in here for another month to be, um, to be, continue to be scouted, obviously. Um, if that can go up, if the bottom number goes up and the top number stays where it is, that'd be very, very good for us. And he could become a very, very good player, this lad. Oh, no. This is the end of the scouting there. Uh... Okay, so we're going to have to sign him. I'm going I'm to take the risk. His value is 110k, which makes me think that he is actually pretty good. I don't think we play... We don't pay that for him, though, do we? We don't pay for him, do we? How does it work? No, we haven't paid for him. There we go. So he is now in our youth academy. There he is, 67 to 91. He's currently 53 rated, and he's 110k, which makes you look at it right. So this guy here is worth 60k. This guy's worth 80. This guy's worth 110. So it sort of gives you an indication of, of how good he might be based on that value. But it's pretty good, actually. I'm happy with that. Of course, this guy's 72 to 92. We should get an update on our youth squad in this episode as well. But, of course, first things first, we do have a game against Colchester United. Um, hopefully, we can get back into winning ways after losing the last game. Let's have a look and see what squad we're going to go for. Um, this has been doing us pretty well, but of course Asara is the top goal scorer in the league, so we can't really leave him off for too much longer. Come on, let's bring him in. Lati Laf has hit 66 rated now. Wow, he is firing up so quickly. So, so quickly. Uh, Joswiak. Let's bring you back in in place of Gumni. Give Gumni a game off. And Congolo, you can come in in place of... Uh, let's bring him in place of Tosin, because Tosin's struggling with energy. There we go. Right, so this is our squad for the game against Colchester United. Hopefully, we can get ourselves back onto winning ways. Let's go. Right, Congolo's ball straight away to Ockles. Asoro's there. Oh, no. Someone's there. Oh, he's scored already. Wow. In the first two minutes, we have got a goal. It's a bit of a scrappy one. But it is Asoro back in the team. Back in the team. And shown us exactly why. We, we've had him off the bench for a couple of games just to try and rest him. And obviously the first game he was on the bench, we actually lost to Forest Green Rovers. We brought him back in the team. Latilaf lost it. And then Osoro, cheeky little shot. Worked a lot of power behind it, to be honest. But it was very well placed right in the bottom corner. And he continues his goal scoring form. And Osoro is, uh, he's already top goal scorer in the league. This is just going to help push him further and further on. And there we go, 1-0 up. That's a good time to score very, very early. Here is Latilaf. Lovely ball into Joswiak. Plays it across the middle. Got to be. There it is. Duarte in the back of the net. 2-0 just before half time. That was a really good goal. I enjoyed that one. And Duarte, who's guaranteed to be 90 plus really. We know that with Duarte because he was our scout of future star from the catalog. We know he's going to be good. And he's done us really well there. Great pass by Latilaf down the line to find Joswiak. And Joswiak just saw the space straight across the front. And Duarte was able to put it in the back of the net. Duarte's finish is not fantastic. He misses some pretty easy goals. But then again, he scored seven this season. So we can't moan too much, can we? There we go, 2 0. Question now, then bringing the ball forward. Nice, done, Dicker. There's the ball over the top to Ockles. Nice first touch. Ockles cuts inside. Gotta be. No, it's not. But it is a third this time. 
Is that Joswiak? It is Joswiak with the volley. Joswiak get himself on the goals line. He's not scored many this season, Joswiak. I don't know. We'll see how many he scored and the half volley that was. Of course, he's playing that right wing back role, so it's not as easy for him to score goals. That's his second goal in the league. That's not bad for a right wing back, and he is doing really well with the overlaps. I do like this formation, actually. Of course, as time goes on, the formation is going to very much depend on who we have player wise. But this one with the two attacking wing backs, I really like it, actually. Come on, clean sheet, be nice here. Don't concede that goal. Ah, oh, we've only got to concede. Just as I'm saying a clean sheet would be nice and they go and pull that off. I think sometimes on FIFA they score goals that you just can't defend. I probably could have defended this. I've done supposed to do, I've just held off, not committed. Yeah, that was just a good goal. That was just a very good goal. We're winning 3 1 anyway. The three points are the main thing. We need to get ourselves into League One this season. That's one of our key objectives. And the board has given us his automatic promotion. Am I about to get one back? Oh, no, maybe not. That's a full time whistle. It is 3 1 victors here then. At home to Colchester United. Were we lucky with that opening goal? That's the question. I don't know. That really did change the game in our favour a bit more, didn't it? It really did. So, we should have another two scout reports coming back on the first of the month. What I'm going to do is, I know our scout that we currently got, we need to send him back out again. But I'm going to hold on to him until the first of the month. And we can do some training. Now, what did I have training-wise set up last time? I had this set up. Duarte, Harrison, Harrison, Rofo, and then nobody here. Okay. Is it because someone's injured? Maybe you've now got a tick next to your name. You didn't have that before. That's interesting. And we've got Mitchell down here. I'm going to do a bit of training on Mitchell because he actually uh, looks like he could be quite good. He's got a high value, so we're going to train him up, see if we can get him to uh, a bit better, a bit quicker maybe. There you go. Harrison gets himself up to a 51. Nice. And a chunk of weight there to, uh, to, um, to 52 as well. So, of course, we just want to see when it gets to the end of the month how much those players are going to progress. Because we should get a youth team update as well at the end of the month, which will, at the end of the, uh, yeah, the end of the month, which will show us roughly how good our players are. Jordan Shipley wants to play. We get a lot of money here. We're up to 3.26 million profit now. Of course, I'm assuming that's all, um, that's all ticket sales and so forth. So if we had better luck in the league, we might have been better off here. But there you go. Um, so this has not been updated yet, has it? So we're gonna, we've got another game. Of course, we're away at Luton Town, which I think Luton are probably one of the bottom teams in the league. No, Luton are actually in tenth. Okay, I'll take it back. Link at the bottom. So Luton are in tenth, but it should still be a game that we should win. Um, we should do pretty well in this one. Let's have a look at the team we're going to play for this one. Everyone's fit again. Ah, Duarte's up to a 63 now as well. But Asaro is in real good goal-scoring form, so maybe Asaro should get the game. Let's take Lati Laff off for a game. He is our best player, but I feel like we don't necessarily need him in this one. And joshua has been doing well as well, hasn't he? But we're going to, we're going to keep with that, I think. Gumney at right midfield. Hurst, I think Hurst is getting pretty close to coming back, isn't he? It looks like he's pretty close to coming back. I can't remember how long his injury was. I'm sure it's like eight months, so he can't be that close to coming back, surely. But his fitness bar is getting quite high up to the top now, so maybe we might get a chance to use him at some point. Anyway, let's get into the game. There's Duarte on the ball. Cuts back inside Duarte. Oh, I'm not quite sure what was being aimed for there, to be honest, but... Tosin. Oh, you're not getting knocked over there, Tosin. Come on, you're a big lad. You should be winning that ball every day of the week. It's led to a counter-attack here by Luton. And it's a goal. Wow, Tosin, you've let us down there. You should be winning that, man. You're a big lad. Tosin's a big, big lad. He missed out on the 50-50. And Luton comes straight up the other end and score. That is disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Oh. And again, I'm not blaming myself too much on that one because I was concentrating on trying to block off the cross. And uh, it was this centre-back in the middle of the box that didn't do the marking job correctly. Buckles. 
Cuts inside, takes a shot. He's See, Ockles' finishing's not great. He keeps getting that good little cut in, but his finishing's not great. We need to build Ockles up as well because his stats are a bit lower than some of the other players in the team. He's only a 60, whereas people like Latte laughing up to a 66. Dicker. To Gumney. Finally, the ball does go through. This time it's to a Sorrow, though. Sorrow finds Gumney. Gumney scores! Gumney scores to make it 1 1. Good bit of play down that right hand side. Gumney did not give up. Over and over and over again, he had to fight it out to get that ball. And eventually, it went through to him in the box. And he was able to knock it into the back of the net. What is going on now? So I just keep getting emails every two minutes from PlayStation asking me to change my password. I've changed it twice today already. And it's just asked me again to change it. That's weird. Look at that through ball then. Gumney. It was a good finish by Gumney as well. Right in the back of the net. And that makes it 1-1. That gives us... The draw, we're back in this one. If we can turn this around, this will show some great, um, some real great uh, character by our team. And they've given it away there, Luton. Ruiz picks it up. It's Gumney again trying to get around the outside. It's going to go out for a corner. Ball into the box. Oh, keeper's got there again. Keeper always gets there. Comes out to Cuesta. Nice ball out wide to Ruiz. Ruiz cuts back in. There's Gumney again. Gumney far post sees the run. And it's in the back of the net. There we go. It's 2 1. We've come from 1 0 down. And it's both the wing backs. Gumney from right wing back. And now Ockles from left wing back getting the goals. Nice one. Well done, Ockles. Real powerful header as well. He's a dribbling expert, but this time he's scoring his goals with his head. Great goal. And I cannot believe we managed to turn this one around the way we have. 2-1. Wow, that's an own goal. Oh, I didn't count as uh, Ockles' goal. That's a shame. Dicker chasing this guy down the outside. Consa's good little kick. Oh, it's bouncing around everywhere. And it's oh, it's off the post. And if scored in the 89th minute to make it 2-2. Oh, what an absolute dumb buggery of defence that was, I tell you. That was awful. Just too many touches wanted in the box. And then eventually a couple of lucky bounces later. And they find the back of the net. That means Duarte's attempt earlier on being missed makes it even worse. Sorrow. Oh, Duarte's in. Can he do it? Oh, he's put it wide. Duarte, come on. That is awful. You've got to put that away, my man. You've got to put that away. And it's just two opportunities by Duarte now. Both should have been goals. And both missed. And that's going to cost us the two points. It is. Wow, we should have had that win. We really should have had that win. But there we go. We can't blame Duarte. Defence was to blame as well. We shouldn't have conceded those two goals. But there we go. It's a 2-2 draw. It's not great for either team. But it could have been worse for both teams as well. Duarte did play... Pretty poorly, didn't he? And uh, Tosin didn't have the best game either. Duarte got 7.4 though, and Tosin got 6.8. I think that's about right. Tosin, our lowest rated player on the pitch. He didn't have a very good game at all. He was at fault for the... Well, not at fault for the first goal, but it was a 50-50 challenge he went in for. And he's a big, strong lad, and he got completely outpowered and knocked to the ground. And that led to them breaking on us and getting the, uh, getting the first goal. Disappointing, indeed. Right. Let's reload the previous training session and do the same thing again. Oh, Rafa got an A. Nice. And Harrison getting quite a few. And uh, Duarte got an A as well. Duarte, we need to do him some finishing training, I think. That'll be our next target for him. So, let's move forward. Of course, as soon as we get to the first, we should be able to... Have we got like a bit of time off now then, have we? Calendar. 
we do not have another game scheduled now until the 12th, so we've got a good two weeks off here. And hopefully, uh, let's have a look and see how when, um, when Hurst is due back, because that would be nice. I'm not a big fan of Hurst, don't get me wrong, but... Three months. Fit in three months. Okay, no, he's still a while away. We're not going to see him until well after Christmas by the looks of it. All right, so let's move forward to getting some more youth players in. Let's stop the sim. We've got four bits of news. Which should be... There we go. So, Youth Scout Monthly Report. Patrick Mitchell, 71 to 91. There we go. At least he's going to be def definitely a 70. 76 to 94. Oscar Harrison, yes. This lad is going to be good. Edison Reese, 69 to 85. It's not looking great for this lad, is it? But this one right here, Oscar Harrison, looks like we could have ourselves a superstar in the making here. We'll keep him in the mare for another couple of months, maybe until January, and then potentially we'll bring him into the squad. And we'll start to use him, give him some game time, and boost him up. But again, Patrick Mitchell, again, another player who... In a couple more months, we could have a, a really good player on our hands. I'm happy with those two. Right. Let's have a look at the more scouts, though. Right. 72 to 92. That is very good. Well, I think we're going to have to sign you just in case. Boom. 66 to 90. I'm going to leave you in there for another bit of training. Uh, a bit more scouting, even. 59 to 81 we will get rid of. 65 to 89 we'll keep in there as well, just in case. Yes, they'll be scouted further. Good. Now into Brazil, 63 to 90, 69 to 93. Well, you're definitely not good enough. 76 to 94. Wow. This lad we know is going to be good no matter what, so we'll definitely sign him. And I feel like we're going to have to... Okay, we're going to have to sign Guilherme Alvarez as well. That is a really good couple of signings, that is. Very, very good. And we've checked you already, haven't we? You two are going to be continued to be scouted as well. Okay. <laughs> we could have some good stuff going on here. So it is taking a bit of money off of our budget. Nothing major. It's more just for wages, isn't it? So Bruno Ferreira is a striker. He's six foot one, 76 to 94 potential. Wow. Technically gifted as well. That lad is going to be good. Got a centre forward as well, 69 to 93. So it's Mitchell, 71 to 91. We've got this guy here, Fabio Savedra, whatever his name is. Right winger, 72 to 92. Oscar Harrison, 76 to 94. And Edson Royce, goalkeeper, 69 to 85. He could be someone we have to just use as the leverage in transfers and so forth. But our youth squad is now starting to look pretty damn good, if I say so myself. So we do have one scout who's not currently doing anything. Um, where should we send him to? I don't know how much money... I don't know if this... What am I doing here? What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. Youth staff. There we go. Um, oh, both these scouts are available now. Okay. So I think you do get better players if you send them to their own nation. So I'm going to send Barry White to the Republic of Ireland. Because that's his own country. So I believe you get better players. Um, and then for Johansson, you, my friend, are going to go to Norway. Um... There is no, there's no way. Yeah, so apparently you get better players. You, it's not necessarily better players, you get more players and they're more likely to be better. So odds are you should get something pretty good. But I'm pretty happy so far with what we've got um, moving forward. Is that taking money of our transfer budget as well then, has it? That has taken money. So we have to watch that. We have to watch that. That's three months. That's going to take us through towards uh, most of next year. It'd be nice if we did get some money in January to spend. I don't think we're going to. But I don't think we're going to need to at this point. There we go. Player of the month is Joel Osorio. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we've got one of our matches being rescheduled. Right, we're going to stop the sim. Um, who's been rescheduled? Our match against... Oh, Mansfield was 12th of November. That was our next match. Um, has that been... We've not got a match now to the 18th. Wow, that's a long way away, isn't it? A long way away. That's interesting. December looks very, very uh, congested, isn't it? Right, so I think we'll probably um, do a bit of training now, and then we'll probably end it there for an episode. Um, I'm actually going to do the training myself again, aren't I? Right. Now, I've got to remember who all the, all the good players were, haven't I? We know Harrison was good striker-wise. There was a good striker, wasn't there? Where is he? Ferrara, there you are. Was it Ferrara? It was. It was him. 
We know this guy is going to be very good. So let's um, start pushing him on his finishing. There we go. Get against the keeper. That's what we want. We don't want to go too over the top. We want to make sure he gets a good result, don't we? Let's give him an easy one first. And again, let's train him up again. So we want to try and push this guy as quick and hard as we possibly can. Um, let's give him... Let's give him some high-pressure finishing as well. Then into the midfielders, let's give Harrison another boost. He needs to get himself up because he could be a very good player for us if we can get him looking good. Um, what do we want to give him? I think basic defender looks pretty good. So intermediate defending, that gives him a bit more of a boost. So we've got no defenders at the moment in our youth academy. I'm not going to worry too much about the keeper now because he doesn't look like he's going to be that good. This guy looks like he might be. That's a really... Bloody motorbikes, eh? Bloody motorbikes. So I've had to open my window. It's quite warm in here today. Um, we're going to give this guy a bit of dribbling scenarios. And then we don't need to give... I don't think we need to boost any of the players we've currently got on our squad because they all look pretty good, don't they? Ockles maybe... Latty Laff is almost up to a 67 now, and I'm worried that Latty Laff is going to get so high that he couldn't want to leave, and I don't know how that would work or not, if that would be the case, but I would like to have maybe a shooting one here then through for Duarte, because his finishing is just not as much as I would like it to be. There we go, this could be a good one then. Uh, hi, let's do this one, that's not actually the right one, oh, that matter. let's just do that. Right, let's uh, simulate all of those, hopefully we get some good results. Right, Harrison did very well on his one. Ferreira getting closer to a 47. Sa Savedra didn't do very well at all. And Duarte did okay. So there we go. We're looking pretty good now. We've not got a game then for a couple of weeks. And probably what I'll do is I might play this one match off camera. Uh, this one match here against um, Lincoln. Play that off camera. It's the bottom team in the league. It should be easy enough. Then we'll come back for the games against Stevenage. Uh, of course, Crawley Town. And then our first game in December, which will be Mansfield. And then that should, again, encompass us encompass us with all of the Youth Academy players and, of course, the Youth Scouts and that as well, which would be pretty cool. Of course, if you have enjoyed this episode of the FIFA 18 career mode, then please do let me know by hitting that like button. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon for some more FIFA 18. Bye. <laughs> Bye 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 b